Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go on and hit that subscribe. So guys, today's video is a little bit different. We're at Ikea and I need to grab a tabletop and some legs so I can create a editing desk in my nail studio. As I'm here, I do want to check out the chairs just to see what Ikea does have to offer. So I got my desktop and I got this cute little pillowcase. It's actually to go for this little pillow on my chair. And then I got a candle that I thought was cute too. So I'm just actually trying to look for the legs that are supposed to be here somewhere. All right guys, so I got everything I needed for my tabletop and then I'm just gonna go check out and then head home. Hey guys, so I'm back at the house now. I have my tabletop and everything. So I'm just gonna put that together and it's gonna go against the wall. I'm really hoping that this solves my problem with my editing station. It's just too cramped there and it's actually very uncomfortable sitting. It's kind of hurting my back, so. I'm really hoping that everything will work out. It's a little bigger than like I know it is there. I don't know guys. I'm just going to move it around as much as I can and hopefully it doesn't take up too much crazy room and my house still looks okay. <laughs> so I'll be back in and yeah, we'll figure it out from there. Guys, I'm back in Ikea and I had to get another drawer system. It's so crazy. You guys will see when I get home. All right. Hi guys. So it is, what is it today? Today's Thursday. Um, I had done Ikea twice. I went, um, got my tabletop and then I went back to get another stand because I need somewhere to put my decals and binders and stuff. And the other one that I had is just too like i just i don't know i don't like the top of it to be showing really and because it was under a desk and now it can't be it's a whole thing like i'm over it i'm so over it like i literally got a coffee and it's nine o'clock at night now so yeah i don't even know so i just got in um i'll show you so the table's in um i'm gonna have to get my stand and I have that right here, that freaking thing. It's just the Alex drawer unit, but I got the file one. So I feel like my binders will fit nicely in that. It's too much, I had such a day. Like I'm having such trouble with editing. Like I can't put anything up. It won't allow me, there's no sound, but there's sound on all my devices. But when I load it, it there's no sound, <laughs> like I don't know what i'm doing it's it's a lot and like i just i don't know guys like to be honest i just did like the kitchen and i really just wanted this week to kind of chill and relax a little because i just kind of been going 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 and i am feeling like a little overwhelmed and like my anxiety is a little like you know craze but in all honesty my week has not been relaxing whatsoever it is I just haven't had time to relax. Like the editing thing is really like annoying me and I was trying to but my back was really really bothering me. Um, I, like I do suffer from sciatic. I have for a while now. So I think all doing all the counters and stuff was a little rough on my back. Um, yeah but then I noticed sitting at my desk trying to be angled in this small corner editing and trying to really figure out that editing software on my laptop. Um, it was also so hard on my back, so I was like, okay, I'm just gonna get another desk top, which is just a tabletop, so it wasn't that that crazy. Um, so I have a little bit more leg room over there, so I can actually turn. So I'm just gonna turn that into my editing area, and then my nail desk will just stay my nail desk. But again, that's a lot of stuff and way over my budgets, and so no nail shopping for April, I'll tell you that much. But honestly, I have so much stuff that I still have to do with you guys and I want to do some art and you know what, it'll give me a good chance to focus on what I have and a few things that I want to been doing instead of keep like doing hauls. I love my hauls and they're not going to like, I'm not going to stop, but a little break would be okay. You know what I mean? Like, 
I keep having so many hauls that all I do is haul videos. And it doesn't give me a lot of time to do other videos. It's only so many hours in a day. So I just got in. Um, I did eat dinner at Ikea though. I don't know what people think of all these meatballs. They're not that great. Like there was like, it's just a meatball. So, sorry for any of the Ikea lover meatball people out there, but eh. Like because I was going to take a little bit of a, a chill week, I was like, I'm not going to film no videos. I can't do nothing. I really have to focus kind of like on myself and have my own little mental break. Cause I knew I had such a crazy weekend with my mom coming and stuff. So, and I just did all that, like literally all my, I just did my kitchen, like, I took out so many house projects and it was a lot and then I had like business commitments and guys I just I don't know what like I love it and I, I, this is the way I am sometimes so I go so crazy so ham for so long and then it's like I needed to take that chill moment and I was really trying to make this week my chill moment and girl I haven't chilled like there's no chill okay Let's go to work. <laughs> Alright guys, so I've come to the conclusion that, sorry, um, I have to put that together, that shelf together, and I really want to, I don't know, if I should leave a thing in the corner, if I do have to take down that little stand, the shelf, whatever you want to call it. I like that shelf, I just got that looking so cute too. Ugh, it's annoying. I don't know. I was just looking at these nails. I won't do that. Sorry guys, whoa. Did you just see down my shirt? Don't be a perv. Yeah. I did the video, but then I deleted it because I didn't like the way that they turned out. I don't like them. The shape's off. I had such trouble too with the um, gears. They were giving me like, ugh. And then I don't know, I tried the spider gel, which I'm not a fan of with that design anyways. So I don't know. Yep. I thought I'd still show you guys, I guess. I don't know. I did a whole set. That one fell off a little bit, but... I deleted the video. It was... I don't know. I just don't think I did a good enough job, so... <sighs> I do not like putting together these Ikea things. They're annoying. My hand is like so sore from turning those legs. I wanted to make sure that they were tight because I'm putting a shelf or not a shelf. I'm putting that like, like I said, it's not Ikea, but it looks identical. It's just smaller. It's like a little dupe, baby dupe. Um, on top of it, it's not overly too, too heavy. It just has all my gels, so I guess it can get heavy. But I wanted to make sure they were tight and my hand is like so sore from the screwdriver. Like, look hurt to me. That's so dry. I'm just not motivated to do this guys but like but I need a, a sound place to work and that's my thing like I can't function and focus and do the best of my ability when my house is in a shambles or I have something on my brain like that I really want to get down or do like I can't so that's the only way that I can be successful is if I am organized and have an area to function well in and I think this is why I think I have been as successful as I have been or at least as a, a part to do with it I believe is because I need to mentally be organized in for myself because like I do suffer from anxiety and it will just 
that's already like a thing, right? Like I already have my spaz case, so I need my area to function well for me. So this not being done, I won't be able to focus on figuring out what that problem is. Oopsie. Boop. I'm trying to get myself the energy to like tackle that box. It's like haunting me, look. It's like, come put me together. But I have the TV set up, so I'm gonna put it on, guys. I'm gonna do it. Like, stop. Like, you know what I mean? Like, girl, get it, get it together. You got this. Okay, I see that Miss Shell's Couture Nails has a hole. Ooh, and it's a good one, 41 minutes. That should be about the same time I need to put that together. So if I just throw her on and watch the haul and put that together and then I can figure that out. I need to go get a square screwdriver. Every freaking screw I feel I've put together all day has been Phillips. I need to take that stupid shelf down. It's a square. I don't have a square in the house. Like, so I have to go outside to the garage and freaking in my toolbox and get a square. Because I don't want to be just... I could get the drill, I guess. I think the drill's down in the laundry area. So I probably could just get the drill. But still. And there's going to be holes in the wall. And that's like right where you're going to see where I film. So I do like... I have to go sticker it up. Hi guys. How are you guys doing today? So, a few things have changed in the studio. I think I'm going to add that in here anyway, so you guys will see me at Ikea and my desk. I got a new desk. Um, it's just a table. I didn't get any of the Ikea... Well, okay, I lie. I didn't get none of the Ikea drawers to go on the side of it, but I did get a new just the tabletop and the legs um, for an editing desk. My little setup that I had before, I was just trying to use what I had and it was just too cramped and it was just hard to squeeze in. So I did change that up a little bit so my studio, again, changed a little. Um, with that, I just got finished filming. Sorry, my, this chair is like a pain in my butt. I just got finished filming a, I did a fill with, how do you call it, like a shape change? So I didn't actually really not bad. They were those square Madam Glams that I had on and I just changed the shape to a nice little coffin. And it's so funny because this little nail is so short and that was like the first nail that I cut when I did my squares and I was like, oh, too short. And then I just cut all the other ones a little bit longer and I never fixed it. So it's still kind of short. <laughs> It's fine though. We're just, guys, we're gonna go with it. I'm not taking them off. What I should do is take it off and then extend it out. But it's fine. I'll just let that one grow and keep cutting the other ones down a little. I'm just gonna probably keep these same nails on for a bit. It was only a week or so, so it actually didn't even really need a crazy fill. But because I was in there and I was like, you know what, let's just do a small fill and then push back the cuticle, small fill. So I'm gonna do a little St. Patrick's. Guys, your girl's like, I don't know. I did not get anything for St. Patrick's Day. Like, I didn't get no decals, no nothing. So I'm just going to use the brain, use some greens and golds, a little bling, right? And we should be fine. But, so I'm going to do that later. I just got, just did this. And guys, it took me forever. It took me like two hours to do this, to take it off. Because I didn't want to take off a lot of um, <clears throat> my actual, like, the product on the nail. I just wanted to get the polish off. So it was more like a polish change. Like I said, I did a slight fill. I didn't even really need it. There was a, like two nails that did need a little bit extra and it's not because of lifting or anything. I think it's just the way I actually put them on. Um, they were a little thick, so I wanted to take them down a little bit more to make it just more, more better, more even, right? So I just did that, but I need a break. I just, I just need a minute. So before I go into, I'm going to do two separate videos of that. I think I want to do, I'm going to keep that one one and then I'll do the art as a second. So I thought I would throw this on, clean up this little bit of mess. And then I got to, I want to do some organizing because guys, I don't know, like roll with me here. I want to... Do something with these stamping. I don't like the stamping drawer at all. It's not working for me. I need to be clean, be ready for my other video that I want to film later. But I wanted, I thought, you know what? I want to make a vlog anyways. And there's a few new things that I want to show you guys. 
So that is the cinnamon color, by the way. I don't know if I like that color. There's, I didn't do a top coat, guys, because I'm just going to go in and do them later on today. So um, I just put some cuticle oil on because, again, by doing your nails, is drying out the skin. So as if they're just going to relax, just a little oil. I don't know. What do you think? Does that color suit me? Like, it's hard to tell, eh? I don't know. Like, I like it. It's subtle and soft. Like, I do like it. But then I'm like... Do I like it? You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. My little garbage, and that's not garbage, my little laundry bin for my cloths. So this is what I use for when um, I'm working. I, I love these little guys to put my bits in so they're not everywhere and it's easier to pick them up. So I really like these. I got that from Sheen. I ordered one from Ali too. Where is this one from Ali? I don't know now. I don't remember. Sheen had them too though. So now I know that those are the two dirty bits that I used and I just mainly use a sanding man to take them off. But my point of that was that you should still sanitize your implements and spans and stuff like that, your sanding tools, even if it's just you using them. Because it's just you don't want bacteria and that to get into it, stick on it, and then you're putting it back onto your own self. Like, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Alright guys, so this drawer here, I already moved some of like my paints. I had all these paints up here. That is not working for me. So, I don't know. Like, I need to figure this out so more things can be together. How are we going to do that though? I'm starting to think... I have this idea of just putting all of my stamping stuff in one of my desk drawers. Cleaning out one of them, like maybe that restock drawer, but then I'm just like, ugh, I have nowhere near having enough. I'd have to get dividers. I don't need to do that yet. No. Okay. We're going to change. So we're just going to put it in here. So all I want to do is put all these, my little stamping dudes in here. These are extra... There we go. Like, I wish I had something to put these in. Maybe I'll just get a little bag. These are those molds. I ordered some more of these. I have never tried these. Have you guys used these before? It's not going to focus. Let me know in the comments. Have you guys used these? I've never used these little molds before. But they're not stamping. So should we go here? Ow! Too old for this being on the floor. Okay. okay. I don't know if I'm gonna like this because, like, is that gonna be annoying to grab them? That doesn't have a lid. That's... That one has a lid. I don't remember where I got those ones from. I like that that one has a lid. I guess it's a two. These, I don't know, I've never been a fan. But it came with something, I think, or I got it. I don't know. When I first started. But we don't know what we like, right? Until we get in there and try it. These are all scraping pads. So I feel like, and that's like this, guys. I've never used one of them either. I want to try it. This is a little bit more Christmas. Okay. I like all these a brand new one. A lot of these are probably brand new. I don't want to stay there. That's like I use that for stamping. It's so dirty. Like, ugh, where is this gonna go? These are molds, so molds are not really in stamping. 
That's for cutting acrylic. It doesn't really work that well with gel at all. So I don't even know. I don't use acrylic anymore. So these really... I don't really use these. I wonder if I could put them in a giveaway. They're Like, they're used, though. Would that be okay? They're metal, so you can really... You can sanitize them. I guess poly gel, maybe. I don't know, guys. I'll just hold them, I guess. Every time I say I'm gonna, I want to give something away, you guys are like, well, use it for this. Use it for that. I don't know. I think I'm just... That's just my character. That's just how I am, who I am. I'm kind for now. I guess that's fine for now. Again, I'm not loving how all these stamping plates are. If you guys have any better way to organize these, I don't want them in the binders. Like, I just don't think I want them like this. I really want them out and just easier to grab. So... Like, I know Talia had the way she has hers, and I'm really considering that, but, like, let's be real. My little collection ain't, like, nothing compared to that, and I feel like a lot of her plates are just, like, I don't know, bigger. So I was using this little method here for now, because I like the way that they're still protected in these little card things. Like, I don't mind that, I feel, but I don't know, guys has to be a better way with them being out so I feel like I don't know I have to really I need help on that one oops sorry guys for now I guess that's fine the watercolors are fine there these cat eyes like, I feel like I don't even want the cat eye up here these are just like miscellaneous jelly set it's all glow in the dark and cat eye and I feel like I don't want these up here I feel like I feel like this should just be like my stamping and watercolors but my chromes are like taking over so that may have to stay there for now Ugh, I guess for now Those are glow in the dark. Like I feel like a lot of these are just miscellaneous. Like I feel like this is just a big miscellaneous like drawer right now. What's well, better? And I can put one more here for more watercolor stuff. This is all cat eye. Well, it's not cat eye, but that can go there anyways. I feel like... And I feel like I have room to grow a little. Just miscellaneous. Yeah, I think that works much better. Paints. Um, cat eye. Those are little glass gels. Miscellaneous. Glow in the dark thing. Oh yeah, these though. These are like water inks that I... Or yeah, watercolors that I... They're not ink, sorry guys. They're water, alcohol. It's just alcohol and pigment, really. I kind of like them standing up. I guess that's fine because they would technically go in this area. I have another one of these in my storage little closet, so I'll get that and I'll put that there. Because I'm liking the water inks and watercolors, inks, and then stamping. I really want to grow my stamping collection, so this will actually give me room to grow that. 
and I want to do a stamping video soon on the difference between these three that I have because this is a stamping gel and then we have two stamping polishes so I want to just do a little video on that at some point yeah so that's better okay I like that all right guys so this is the new desk that I got like I said I just opt for the adjustable legs now because I put this stand on top of it and this stand is 40 pounds with nothing in it and it does hold some of my gels and stuff these legs when I did um I did look into the weight of them and it's like 28 pounds per leg so I opted to go with a fifth leg just in the middle just to make sure give it that extra support that it needs I think it's fine because realistically there's less than 100 pounds I would say 40 I don't know maybe like about 80 pounds so it still can hold but like I said I just wanted to go the extra mile just to make sure because my laptop actually sits underneath here <laughs> so yeah that would suck if that kind of fell down um but yeah so this is what I did here um I guess I'll start down here which I like that there's actually room because now I can put all of my background pads. Okay, what do you want to focus on? There you go, all my background pads. And then I just leave my laptop there because it's just easier to be out of the way. And then I just have my laptop obviously hooked up to the monitor. And then when I film with my camera, I also hook that up to the monitor so I can see. So it's really great that that's there and works good for me there. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm trying to move on this chair and it's not working. Yeah, so like you said, this was always here, guys. It was just on top of the other Alex drawer. Up here, it's changed a little bit too. I just have some of my, I put my polishes up there. And then I did that over here because this now being up here, this uh, the other little stand that I had there, it actually wouldn't open. So I just got this little floating shelf and put my favorite hat up there. You guys know Brian Brothers is definitely my favorite hat company. I, as you know, my bracelets, I, I have them all the time. So I am a brand ambassador for them, so I'll always represent them. And so here, again, guys, I actually just got this off of Amazon. It's just a two-tier thing. I just wanted something so I can put my keyboard, like, out of the way, and I can still have this area. I'm really trying to not have any nail products over here, though because I really just want this for editing and then my happy planner of course this little guy I don't know I just got these little things from Dollar Tree and then that little guy I got from HomeSense I just thought it was cute there it has my swatch sticks in the back they're kind of covered up right in there but to be honest it's easy for me to grab them like they're not really in the way and then my office supplies kind of stuff here like demo tape all that good stuff washi tape and then over here, I actually moved my printer over here. My printer used to be like over in my living room area, so it's a lot more convenient. I don't know why my laptop will not hook up to that wirelessly. It used to, and then it stopped, and then I don't know how to fix that. So it's real convenient that I can just have it here and hook it up. And then that that it's sitting on, guys, that's another Alex drawer. <laughs> I actually got that in the video like I said, I think you'll see that anyways before all this. I went back to Ikea twice in one day. I guess the perks and... Is it a perk or is it like... A, uh, of living in the city close to everything. So yeah, I just did my office stuff there. Yeah, guys. So that's it. Like, that's all, that's all that desk has. But I like that it gives me the leg room that I need to go under there. And I can just sit there and do what I gotta do. Uh, I did get a new mic or a mic for voiceovers. So when I am editing on my laptop, I can use that for voiceovers. It was a little bit of a pain in the butt. I did just figure it out how to set up. Guys, that's why I haven't been like crazy, crazy posting videos is because I've been doing a lot of behind the scenes stuff. <laughs> but I will take you over and show you the Alex drawer. All right, guys, so I'm on the opposite side of like my filming area, so opposite view so this is the alex drawer system that i got i actually got the one that is for files like 
And the reason I went with that is because it actually holds a binder perfectly. Like it can stand up. So it holds all my foils, all my decals, and I love that they're in there, put away, easy to grab. I did throw a couple other little things in there. It's not going to stay, like I said. Um, well, I don't know, they might, who knows. So I just put these little um, soak off dishes in there. This is actually my camera. Um, and then some more like soak off dishes and stuff. And then extra, whatchamacallit, little pad things. And then I love this because this actually holds a lot of like stuff that we need that it's just like annoying to have everywhere. So all my cords for everything that I need. So my drill, auto extension. I just named them. I put them all in bags. My lacquer shaker, my um, little warmer, a little small hair dryer because trust me that actually comes in handy in the studio. My first drill is a Melody Susie. I think I've actually all my all my drills that I've ever messed with is all Melody Susie. So extra lamp cords. So that's how I organize that. I don't know guys if it's the best way, but that's just how it's going for now. Here is just like filming stuff in extra like foils because I don't really use a lot of foils. I need to get into that a little bit more. I have some nail repair stuff. I've never actually used it, but it's always good to have just in case. So yeah, that's just kind of a throw all in. My camera mic is in that. So that's what that's there for now. And then this is just paper. So it just has, I try to keep all my receipts because you know, we girl has a spending problem. This is all of my planner stuff. Um, all just some extra notes, printer paper. So yeah guys, it's just kind of like that. Then beside it, I just have all my polishes. You guys know that I keep my polishes in these little guys for now. And then that little stand that I was using and then my armrest. And so I think it's just, what is that? Oh, my um sanitizer thing and then a little pillow. Yeah hey guys, that's what I've been up to for the last little bit. Just kind of organizing and getting my space working best for me. Like I said, because I, I look at this YouTube as a career, it's not just a fun and games for me. I really need it to function for me smoothly and being comfortable. Like what I had, it worked. I'm not saying like you can't make what you have work, but like I already suffer from sciatic and I realized that my back was just hurting me so bad trying to reach and squeeze into this little area. So I really needed a space just to sit and edit. You guys know if you guys do YouTube, it literally takes longer to edit the video than it does to film the video so we're sitting and doing a lot more work in that position so and like you guys know I did want to put everything over more onto my laptop I just feel like there's maybe more that I can do or just maybe easier I don't know that's just the way that I want it to go I'm not saying I won't use my phone I'm using my phone right now do you know what I mean so but I do want to have options so that was my my jam vlog so that's it though. That's it, that's all folks. Hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog just to kind of update you guys where I'm at, where the studio's at. I think I'm at the point where I can give a full tour now. I think I'm pretty satisfied how everything is. Maybe not every drawer, but just to kind of give you an idea. I don't know, let me know. Do you guys want to see my whole art collection of what I have, all my nail stuff? You guys let me know in the comments below if you're interested in seeing that now. If you guys want to see what I've accumulated in the last few months. So you guys let me know. But alright guys, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.